In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Friends, as we enter this final week of the Easter season, let's pause to call to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, how were you baptized? They replied, with the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to, Sing to God, God O, o kingdoms, kingdoms of the earth. earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven. As wax melts before the fire. Sing, Sing to God, God, O kingdoms, kingdoms of, the of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God, they are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing, Sing to, to God, God, O kingdoms, kingdoms of, of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his dwell holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing, Sing to God, God O kingdoms, kingdoms of, of the earth. earth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? 
Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For those of you uh, praying the uh, Holy Spirit, the novena to the Holy Spirit uh, this week, the, uh, the, uh, um, what we're praying for today is, uh, is uh, fortitude, uh, one of those uh, gifts of the Holy Spirit. And um, in this passage from the Acts of the Apostles about um, Paul in Ephesus, um, we're told that he has two separate encounters in this passage. The, the first is he encounters some disciples who um, haven't been baptized yet in the name of Jesus. Um, they haven't received the Holy Spirit yet. And uh, Paul engages with some very, very light dialogue with them. Um, it's almost shooting fish in a barrel sort of experience where he's just like, <laughs> he's just like, do you want to be baptized? Great. Let me lay hands on you, receive the Holy Spirit. And they begin to prophesy. And then we pivot. Here's the last line. After all that, 12 men that he just brings in the fold like that. Next. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. Um, it would be easy for any of us if we had an experience of drawing 12 individuals into the faith to kind of start coasting and just say, I've done, I've done good work. Um, and Paul keeps going. And he experiences what we're told is three months of resistance. Um, and it's a reminder to us that um, the Lord is always beckoning us further than um, the victory of the moment, right? That there's more work to be done and not to just rest on, on our sort of accolades. So uh, may you and I be open today to uh, the gift of fortitude that gives us sort of an intense and an urgent perseverance in our responsibilities to proclaim the faith and uh, again, be open to the ways in which the Spirit can prompt that and activate that within us. Please stand for our intentions. We pray for the church, for Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, all clergy and religious, all laymen and women, that by our growth and holiness this day, we might draw others to the good news of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who battle uh, addictions and uh, habits that are destructive or corrupting. We pray especially for those who are, are tempted to uh, despair uh, because of the assaults they experience. We ask that the Lord might uh, impart freedom and liberation to them, giving them hope for the future. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those uh, who have become abusive in their relationships, in their tone and tenor. We ask that the Holy Spirit would uh, fall upon them and extend to them uh, a peace that Christ says conquers the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for those who are in authority over us, especially those who hold positions of leadership in our governments, that the spirit of wisdom uh, might be granted to them, that they might lead us well in the ways of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray uh, for the sick, the hospitalized, the homebound, and those under hospice care. We pray especially for those who battle to understand uh, their condition. We ask that God will grant them fortitude. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and those who will die today. We continue to pray for Nadine Gray. May Nadine's soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God find peace in the presence of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a particular way this morning for police officers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we uh, enter this uh, final week of the Easter season and prepare ourselves to again receive the Holy Spirit, 
we ask that uh, the Spirit's gift of fortitude might be ours today. Grant us constancy in living out the faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. This morning, communion will be down the main aisle. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.